Yeah, none of it went into the grass at all. <laughs> guys we are back working on the LTR 450 we did get the motor pulled out of the Jeep which I will be posting that footage later on in the week I figured we'd uh, hopefully get this hammered out today we got a couple things to look at the throttle position sensor and make sure we actually got that set right or if it's bad and then there is another screw on the other side that I need to double check and make sure that's adjusted and then our other thing would be if our fuel injector is clogged and maybe causing our hesitation. So we got a few things to look at here. Let's check it out. So we're still having issues. Trying to test this sensor because we've done everything what people have recommended and it's nowhere close. We're supposed to be at 0 0.60 to like some people said they've adjusted up to 0.65 and it ran better but 0.60 is supposed to be stock position and it is not working for us because the lowest we're getting is 1.6 so i don't know if the tps is just completely bad or we're doing something wrong that's what we're trying to look up right now but it's just so weird that it runs so good. Well, I shouldn't say it. it starts up good with it unplugged, but once you plug that in, I know sometimes there could be, maybe there could still be another issue possibly, and then sometimes when you unplug stuff like that with electronics, it will temporarily make it run better in a different area. But I think we're at the, the head of the problem right now. We just got to... Do that at TPS or the fuel injector. That's what I think. What do you got, Dan? What are you looking at? Seeing which one of these wires. Well, the red is the power feed. Red's mm. power. Yes. Yellow's going to be your 5 volt plus into the TPS, and then your black is going to be ground coming out. But finding out which is centered and what the actual reading should be. Well, it might be just seeing what we should be actually switching because some people have said to switch it just on volts. Other people have said to switch it on ohms, which if we switch on ohms and they say if you just get out a one point, that that could actually mean that your sensor is bad, which, which is what be, we're getting. It would be getting resistance if it's bad. Ohms is going to measure the resistance going through and it really shouldn't have any. The only problem we're having here, here guys, is that we got a really good deal on the squad. So we're not trying to ruin that deal by just buying every known part to this thing and just slapping it on. Because, yeah, we could have bought, you know, as far as a whole new swirl filter system and pump and injector and we did buy a regulator and that but we'd probably be already six hundred dollars in the hole just doing that so we're trying to pinpoint the problem and then go from there which we even unplugged the the cherry bomb that this thing has which is pretty much all it is is a uh it plugs into the front suzuki made to where it plugs in and kind of puts the i think the computer like into race mode you see there's only two prongs there and people say when you plug this in that they run rich which i mean this thing would have your eyes watering as soon as it fired up it just was not happy at all so we unplugged that we put the airbox lid back on yeah we actually purchased a stock exhaust for it because the aftermarket was clapped out anyways but we're just trying to get this thing happy 
being stock and then we can put the cherry bomb back on and open up the air box and kind of see how it runs at that point but right now we need to figure out what's going on here and like i did tell you guys before amc 304 runs good for sale if you uh anywhere near in uh, indiana and feel like taking a drive hit me up in the comments if you're interested Give that throttle a push all the way in very slow. Okay, so we're supposed to go gradual. Let me get, make sure I, these guys can maybe see. There we go. So we're going in gradually. That's, that's wide open. All right. Now go all the way back out. And that's all the way out. Hmm. So, technically, from what this says in the operation manual, is it's only supposed to get a 4-volt change in it. So, 4-volt change, or a 0.4-volt change. What was it supposed to be, a 0.4-volt? 0.4. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's showing that this is bad. It's jumped literally from 1.5... 1.65 all the way down to zero and then all the way back up. Hmm. Because it should set at, so technically what it should do, it should set at 0.6 is what people are saying that it should set at. And then as we increase the throttle, it should actually go increase. up to about a volt. Yep. And it's We're already nowhere. past a volt where it sits. And we're nowhere near, nowhere near that. And that has nothing... I mean, we've changed the position countless times on that thing. I mean, trust me, we don't want that thing to be bad. So we were definitely trying every little thing to... It's an expensive little part. Yeah, it definitely is. And I, I guess, guys, the clear sign, I mean, I've said it already, I've showed you guys, but when you unplug that piece and it fires up like that, it's pretty much probably the computer saying, going into like a default mode, I would assume, of and firing up instead of, that sensor right now is probably throwing the computer way off whack. You know, it's, it's picking up whatever bogus reading it's giving it. It's wanting to pretty much throw out more fuel and choke it out. Which... A cherry bomb already increases the fuel, so probably that's half the reason why when we plug that in, not only are we getting what's amplified from that thing, but now you're also getting what the cherry bomb's also telling it to do, and it's just not happy. So, not at all. It looks like we'll be probably ordering ourselves up a, a new uh, TPS sensor here. I know I've seen a few used on eBay and all that, but we're not going to bother with that. We're just going to buy brand new. Uh, we don't want to be chasing our tail here pretty much as far as ending up with the same problem again, getting another TPS that's bad. Um, we've done stuff like that before, and it, it never works out. So, not in a good way. No, no. So we're just going to buy a, buy a brand new one, and we'll get back to this project. Um Later on this week, we will actually be putting this motor on an engine stand, which is an AMC 360. And before we put it back in the Jeep, we just want to kind of make sure everything's good. We only got to check the timing chain. I think we're going to throw a mild cam in it. And then I know he wants to put like a different, like maybe an intake uh, air gap on it. And with AMC motors, they're not like Chevy motors. So... Whenever you do any type of cam, they they want you to change the valve springs right off the bat. So we will probably be doing some of that too. Um, then it's gonna get a, a four barrel carb because that's just a standard two barrel and all that. And uh, we're gonna get rid of the, it's kind of, it's an AMC, but it's called a Ford ignition pretty much. You see how it's mounted in the front like that. And uh, we're gonna get rid of all that. And these are actually got the distributor in that box there. And it's a, a nice one wire setup and it'll make everything way cleaner and you get rid of all that module stuff and all that that you need with the AMC. So 
yeah, it'll be good. All right, since we were desperate not to buy a TPS, we have been working on this for the last 40 minutes. And <laughs> we it's are the, relentless. Yeah. But it's still the same outcome. So pretty much what I did here, I stuck the screwdriver in here, and that's going to be acting as the throttle. And he's got the yellow and the black and brown wire hooked up. And that should be at zero, being that there's nothing, you know, pulling it right now. And I'm going to spin it now as if the throttle was opening up. And you can see this jumps around all over the place, but it's still... See, I'll, I'll hold it right there, and then it still goes back to one... And that's literally from right to left. And it's still all the same. And there's no way that's right. So this is the bad one. We're going to order the new one up. Probably take a few days. Uh, hopefully by Friday. So maybe before I'll be able to post another video before we even get into the Jeep. And hopefully show you how a good TPS works. Alright, thanks for watching guys.